Tonight, Region 12 play gets underway in 4A with Logan playing host to Mountain Crest, one of the older rivalries in this valley. These two teams have had some epic battles over the years. And of course, after tough preseasons or non-region seasons for both teams, they're both glad to get to zero and zero and see where they stand in regards to other teams in the region. Logan has won two out of three. They're led by Josh Jensen at 6'7". He's one of the best big men around, and he can get up and down the court and do a little bit of everything. Rebounding and defensive-wise, he's a monster. For the Mountain Crest Mustangs, they're pretty well-rounded. They've won three out of their last four, and they have four players that are averaging eight points or better. So it's kind of a pick your poison. It can be anybody on any night for the Mountain Crest Mustangs. If they're shooting well, they're going to be a tough team to beat. We'll see what the Grizzlies can do on the game of the week coming up next on the Valley Channel. At Ultra, we don't believe in limits or telling runners they can't or it's not possible. That's why we dared to make shoes with a foot-shaped toe box and gave runners zero drop technology so that runners could say goodbye to limits too. Ultra invites you to experience the difference everyone's talking about with zero risk. Love your run or send them back within 30 days, no questions asked. Get your pair today at ultrarunning.com. Ultra, zero limits. Day 568 of our journey into America's freezers. We've found ourselves at a location which we're told has frozen beef, but we need to dig deeper. Is the beef currently frozen? Yeah, it's frozen. Would it be possible to actually go in the freezer and get those frozen discs right out of the ice? Oh, we already did that all this morning. Might it be possible to have it on a stick, like a popsicle? No? All right, fair enough. With every restaurant, I feel we grow a little bit closer to actually getting in the freezer. Don't settle for frozen. Swing by Wendy's and try a Dave's Double to see how fresh, fresh beef tastes. And now, great offers are available in the Wendy's mobile app. Download, sign up, and check your account to start redeeming today. Well, Coach, you get to do an in-valley game for the season opener. That used to be a big deal, but now well, they're all in-valley games. But it's an older, one of those older matchups, Mountain Crest, rivalry games with Mountain Crest. Tell me a little bit about the rivalry between Logan and Mountain Crest and, and what this game means to the kids. I think it means a lot to our team, but also our community. Uh, it's been great having five schools in the valley and six with Bear River. But this means a lot. You know, it's one of those games that uh, you know we, we've had alumni come back, talk to our kids already this week about uh, you know what it meant to them when they played, and so th th these games definitely matter. And Mountain Crest has been playing really well, in my opinion. I think they're playing really hard, and uh, it's one of those games set up for a Friday night that I think both teams are going to come out firing. They've won two out of their last three. Seems to have maybe kind of found a little bit of an identity. What is it that you are looking for from them? What do you need to slow them down on to get the win? I think they're well-rounded and they play together as a team. They, they do a really good job of executing their offense and it's about uh, knowing the scouting report, knowing some of their personnel, but really we got to focus on us and taking it one possession at a time, execute our game plan going in and uh, it'll be fun. It's at home, we're excited to start out at home. Two-part question for you, Hunter, last question. And yeah, this, this may be one of the best home environments in the Valley. Um, your preseason schedule, I was talking to you before we, we came on the air here about 90 and 60, the combined record of your preseason opponents. That's a tough preseason. Tell me about the philosophy of scheduling a preseason like that. Maybe you don't know they're going to be that tough before when you schedule. But also tell me what you've seen in your team and what you see right now that you feel good about and that also that you feel needs to improve. I've seen us grow and I've seen us learn through the process of the preseason and that and that's what it's built for and, and I think we're coming into this game you know growing and and it's uh, it's been a good process for us to be in at the beginning of the year I you know we've made a lot of strides from where we're at right now but right now we understand we're zero and zero just like everybody else and take one game at a time all right coach good luck tonight appreciate your time yep thank you say the word base say the word mess they would tell me something and I'd say huh and then they tell me again and I'd say huh and they'd say never mind
And so I called and made an appointment. Say the word pass. He's a PhD and I know what it takes to get a PhD. Say the word red. It was like night and day. And then the hearing test was the, the thing that I thought, wow, he, he really knows what he's doing. I would recommend Dr. Danes to anybody, everybody. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cash Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cash Valley Hospital, together we're greater. Cash Valley Electric, a tradition of excellence since 1915. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you have been missing. Lynn's Audio and Video, Cash Valley Specialists. Mountain Valley Heating and Air Conditioning. Give us a call. You'll be glad you did. Herms Inn, last chance for great food. Discount Tire and Automotive, so much more than a tire store. Four Seasons Apartments and Townhomes is your home. Planet Fitness of Logan, no intimidation and only 10 bucks a month. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cat Valley's TV station for over 25 years. Well, hello and welcome to the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. I'm Eric Coulson. I'll be here with you all night, just like I've been with you all season long, as Mountain Crest and Logan get after it tonight. It's always a party when these two teams decide to dance, and they get to do it twice a year. This is the first meeting of this year for these two teams. It's the first region game of the year. The region play opens tonight for Region 12, so there's a whole slew of games going on in the region. Green Canyon's at Bear River in a fight for the what looks to be the top spot early on. At least those two teams are ranked fourth and fifth in 4A. And in Skyview visits Ridgeline. The two top scorers in 4A involved in that game in, in Mason Falsliff and Landon, Brent, Landon Brenchley. They're number one and number two, respectively, in scoring in 4A and separated by tenths of points. So one of them averages 24, the average other one averages about uh, 26 and a half. Well, let's talk about this one a little bit before we take a break for before the national anthem comes up. Mountain Crest is four and seven. Head coach Kevin Anderson's squad, they lost six of their first seven games. Uh, but they've now, since then, they've won three of their last four. They beat Judge and, and Box Elder, and they eat, or two of their last three was Judge and Box Elder sandwiched around uh, a loss to Weber, a pretty decent Weber team that we saw against Skyview in a thrilling game a couple of weeks ago. Logan, on the other hand, a very similar record, four and eight. Logan Brown's team has won two of their last three after suffering through a five-game losing streak. And if you look at the schedule these two teams have played, Logan's schedule, they play teams that are a combined 90 and 60. So 90 wins versus 60 losses on their, that's a basically a schedule of the devil's schedule, 6-6-6 winning percentage, it's two-thirds the games are being won by the by the teams that Logan played against. But if you look at the other side of that, Mountain Crest, they didn't play a much easier schedule. Well, a little bit. Their, their opponents were 69 and 62. So both of these teams have already been through the battles in non-region play. And they should be ready for what would probably be a brutal region. One of the best regions in 4A. And I think it's up for grabs. We'll talk more about that throughout the game. Like Flag is down out of the, the rafters here. Of Aggie legend, and Mark Roberts. So they're getting ready for the Thank national for anthem. We'll take a break and be back with starting lineups for tip off. You're watching the you game of the week like on the Valley. The Valley the Channel. Steve White's sportsmanship program called Race Bar is meets to return to positive. No hospital 
Medical Network is more committed to short emergency room wait times than Mountain Star Healthcare. Text ER to 23,000 for current wait times. That's why I don't like gyms. Well, Megan, we're not a gym. We're Planet Fitness. No gym intimidation, no lunks, clean and spacious. Just $10 a month. We're not a gym, we're Planet Fitness. Well, the sounds of a Friday night in the wintertime here in Cache Valley. A pep band playing the national anthem and a and now the bunch of hollering and teenagers. Mountain Crest Mustangs. Mountain Crest, the visitor six, tonight, four, will be Austin introduced Young. first. Austin Young, number two, is the leading scorer three, a for the Mustangs. Senior, two, Matthew three Barber. Per game. Matt Barber had a high season high number 17 13, points the last time senior, we carried Wells. Mountain Crest. Matt Barber. Number 24 is six senior. Three senior. Number 13 Trevin is Cordell Welch, averaging nine points. And number 40 per is game. Six four junior. Trevin Lishman, another senior. Number 24 is coached and by Marshall Kevin Nethercott, Anderson. the junior, number 40, rounds out the starting five. Kevin Anderson's squad looks to use six, maybe seven guys tonight. We'll probably see a little bit of Ethan Wilson, a little bit of Quinn Archibald. Caleb Archibald, pardon me. Now the lights are off for the Grizzlies. And now the starting lineup for your Rocket Grizzlies! Wearing number one, a 5'9 senior, Anthony McDay! Running the show for the Grizzlies will be number senior two, Anthony McDay. Number two, a 6'2 senior, Running with him will be senior. Number 21, a 6'3". Johnny senior, Parkinson, who Johnny led the football team to a great season. At 6'3", gets the start. Josh Jensen is 6'7", 13 points and 6 rebounds a game. He's 8th in 4A in clean in the glass. A 6'3", senior, Kyle. Kyle Truex provides the muscle down low for the Grizzlies. Logan High is coached by Logan He's a big Brown. body, but he can play outside and inside. I saw him firing up three-pointers during the halftime of the JV game, which the Logan JV won, by the way. Mountain Crest coming off of an overtime win against Box Elder. They beat Judge Ogden and Box Elder and then sandwiched a little loss into Weber in between there. Logan beat Pineview, lost to Preston, who had their win streak snap last night. They're Preston the 13-3 and a very good team. And then uh, Logan also beat Box Elder here recently. Jensen with a decided height advantage over Nethercott, about three inches. And the Mustangs move the ball around the perimeter against his zone. Three on the way early and good from Matt Barber. Three point basket by Matthew Barber. The Mustangs drop into a 2-3 zone as the Grizzlies attack. Straight away from McDade, trying to tie it, can't do it. And the rebound pulled down by Lishman. Barber and Young play catch out front. Logan starting in that zone. See if the Mustangs can shoot him out of it as Welch. 
Another caught down low to Lishman out front to Young. His three too hard off the heel. Rebounded, here comes Nye. Pull up, shoot for three. Miss, rebounded by Jensen. Jensen to Nye, streaking down the middle. He misses, it was blocked. Here comes Welch. Welch down the middle, nowhere to go as he got in the air and he turned it over. Off of one of the Mustangs and out of bounds. Out of bounds. Just Super basketball. Couldn't handle it. Mountain Crest for the first turnover of the game. Nye will trigger in bounds. Toss out front to Jensen who looks for Parkinson. Now McDade. McDade all of 5-9. Running the point here. Mount Crest stays in that 2-3 zone. I think somebody got a hand on that shot attempt. Out of bounds, Mustang basketball. Austin Young, I think, got a hand on that shot attempt by Nye. And it goes out of bounds off the miss. And the Mustangs bring it across, leading three to nothing. Logan's gonna pick him up at midcourt. Little zone press. Welch to the middle, Lishman turn around, high off the iron, too hard, rebounded by Parkinson. Nye looks for Jensen, Jensen stumbles, turns it over. Quickly out front and Barber knows what to do with it. Barber's got five and it's five nothing Mountain Crest with 5.45 to play here in the first period at Logan. The region opener, and here's another Logan turnover. Three turnovers early for the Grizzlies. Mountain Crest with one of their own. Logan's gonna stay in that zone. Down low they go to Barber again, and Barber's got it going on. He catches in the key, turns, shoots, scores. Matt Barber, seven. Logan, nothing. And a 30-second timeout for the Grizzlies with 5.09 to play in the first period. Fisher Home Furnishings, Bridgeland and Cash Animal Hospital. Charlie's Ice Cream, Discount Tire, Grease Monkey, Virgin Lumber, similar or shared opponents this season. Thank you for your support. We've been a couple. Mountain Crest lost to Pineview. Logan beat Pineview. Box Elder, they both beat Box Elder. And they both beat Ogden. Logan started the season 2-2 two and two and then a five-game losing streak before winning two out of their last three. The Mustangs lost their first three before they finally beat Canyonview. Then lost three more, and now they've won three out of the last four. Seven nothing Mountain Crest, we've played three minutes here at Logan. Day to Nye, Nye looks down low, he got two guys trying to post up on the same block. Truex and Jensen were both down there, forming a wall. They stayed there, seeing what they were gonna do. If they were gonna peel somebody off of that and use them for like a screen. But the ball was knocked out of bounds by the Mustangs. McDade into Parkinson. McDade and Parkinson play catch, now Nye with it. Parkinson out front, back out to McDade, no shot. Parkinson looking at a straightaway three. Rolls around and out. Truex cleans up. Kyle Truex with the rebound and the bucket. The Grizzlies on the board with 4.27 to play in the first period. 7-2 Mountain Crest. Three subs set to come in for Coach Logan Brown and the Logan Grizzlies. Missed by Welch. Rebound by Parkinson. Here comes McDade. Parkinson. Nye passes up the three, gives it back to Parkinson. 
McDade's got a good look at a three off the back of the iron. This one rebounded by Young. Quickly ahead, laid up and in, and one as Welch will go to the line. Cordell Welch with the bucket and the foul. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number five, Isaac Larson. Charlie Jensen, Charlie Isaac Jensen, Larson. Jaden Pinniger. And Jaden Pinniger into the ball game. Isaac Larson, you keep an eye on him. He's third in 4A in steals. Welch with the miss off the free throw. First free throw of the game by either team. Penninger number 33 with the ball. Larson looks for Penninger, turns it over. Forced the pass inside. Not a good decision as the Mustang defense took it away. Four turnovers for Logan. There's 3.20 to play in the quarter and Welch gets free down the middle. That's good by Cordell Welch. Welch with four, Barber with seven, it's 11-2 Mountain Crest. Larson to Jensen. They haven't been able to get Jensen involved offensively yet. Henniger steps inside, free throw line, double clutch jumper won't go. It's more of a floater and a foul on the Mustangs. Welch, first Welch first picks first up his foul. first. Jaden Penniger shooting for the Grizzlies. It was Kevin Nye that got the foul for Logan on Welch earlier. And Penninger gets two. Jaden Penninger, seven points off the bench, four rebounds and an assist. He's just a sophomore. Six foot three. One of two for Penninger. And it's 11-3 Mountain Crest with 2.50 to play in the first period. Nethercott holds. Now Logan switches to a man defense. Lishman to Welch. Welch has it poked away by Larson but picked up by Nethercott. Here's Barber. Nethercott down low. Welch looks to him. Nethercott. Turns in and shoots, misses wide to the right. Rebounded by Jensen. Quickly the other way, Pinniger fakes the three, goes to the basket and scores. Pinniger with three quick ones off the bench. It's 11-5, Mountain Crest. Two minutes to play in the first period. Down low they go to Young and Young loses it out of bounds. Entering the game for the Mustangs, number zero, Ethan Wilson. And Ethan number Wilson. One, Caleb Archibald. And Caleb and Archibald number in one, for Anthony Mountain McDade. Crest. McDade comes back, replacing Nye. Ethan Wilson has Logan roots. His dad, Todd Wilson, played point guard and quarterback here at Logan. Won a state title as a quarterback. Went on to play up at Utah State. He's a lefty, just like his dad. Logan moves it around the perimeter. Spin move by Larson and leaves it off for Jensen who scores. And the Grizzlies rubbing them the sleep out of their eyes. They wake up and now cut the lead to four. 11-7 Mountain Crest. Wilson out front looking for some help. Lishman has it knocked away, a Mustang turnover. Jensen back to McDade as the Mustangs were back defensively. Mountain Crest with three giveaways. One minute to play in the first period. Jensen. Charlie Jensen with a bucket off the bench. And it's 11-9 Mountain Crest and a foul out front. Isaac Larson, his first personal, Larson. second team foul. Mustang basketball. Larson, his first infraction, second 
on the Grizzlies. For the Mustangs, number three, Matthew Another Barber. Another will sit down, and Barber comes in. Three on the inbounds play from Barber. Wouldn't go. Logan with a chance to tie or take the lead. Larson loses it out of bounds. Out of bounds. Mustang basketball. And the Grizzlies with turnover number five. Five turnovers in a two-point game. Archibald with it. Attacks Jensen, hands it off to Lishman, and Lishman's fouled by McDade. McDade went in there hard, but he's trying to make sure Lishman oh, doesn't Anthony score and get an and one. Lishman's a lot bigger than McDade, so you've got to go hard after it. 26 seconds to play in the quarter. Archibald, little wrap pass under to Lishman who scores. Basket by Trevin Lishman. Lishman gets the bucket, 13-9 Mustangs. And they stay in a 2-3 zone. McDade will dribble out front with 10 seconds on the clock. Switches sides. Larson, down low to Jensen. Shot short, knocked out of bounds. Looked like Lishman had touched it last. The Grizzlies have 1.7 seconds to work with, trailing by four. We're in the first period. McDade, Pinnegar, three. Got it! At the buzzer. Pinnegar puts the lead down to one, 13-12. Logan trails Mountain Crest as we head to the second. come off the bench for the Grizzlies to score six points. Jaden Penninger averages seven really points per game, four rebounds field. and assists. He brought a spark for the Grizzlies who the were down early, 11-3. Really and they've outscored Mountain Five, Crest down the stretch four, in that first period. Three, two, one, time's up. Nine to two. Congratulations to our winner, and thank you for participating in the Great Harvest Matt Win Barber with seven contest. points That's for the Great Mustangs. Harvest at 55, West Cordell Center. Welch had four points. Lishman had two. Attention, fans. Jensen Truex. Levi Roberts. Charlie please Jensen. come Josh to the scores table. Charlie Levi Jensen Roberts. Please come to the scores table. Scored a bucket for Logan. The Grizzlies get the ball to start the second period. Luke Facer will inbounds as he sees his first action of the night. Facer, Nye, Jensen, Pinnegar, who has the ball, and McDade out front. There's McDade with it. Down low, Nye. He's surrounded by a whole herd of Mustangs, throws it into the backcourt. Turnover, Mustang basketball. Turnover number six for the Grizzlies. Barber with that seven points early. He averages just over eight a game. And his high was against Woods Cross, the game that we had. Nethercock, corner three, short. 
Rebound fought for, and McDade comes out with it. Picks it up, gets it to Facer. Now Pinniger with it. McDade checks things out. And Pinniger enters it into Jensen. Jensen's undercut and one. Josh Jensen. As Barber came over to help, he hustled over and got underneath of Jensen's legs. Jensen with a hard fall. Matthew Barber, his first personal, second team foul. But he finishes. And he'll go to the line with a chance to give the Grizzlies a two-point lead. And the Grizz lead by two. He's got five points. It's Logan, 15-13. As Wilson trots across the timeline. Now the Grizzlies trapping and doubling when they can. Welsh high off the glass from the left side. He's got six. Basket by Cornell Wilson. We're tied at 15. <laughs> Pinniger. McDade, Facer as they move it around the perimeter against that zone. Pinniger just about loses it. Archibald knocked it away and Pinniger got it back. Here's McDade. Pinniger, three on the way. Short, rebounded by Welch. Welch, too tall for Barber, and Mountain Crest with their fourth giveaway. Entering the game for the Mustangs, number 24. 6.20 to play in the first two, half. We're Austin tied Young. at 15. Mountain Crest Grizzly just turned it over for the fourth time this half. Nobody in foul trouble. Three fouls on Logan, two on Mountain Crest. Facer in the corner to Nye. Now they reverse it back into that corner. Nye, three, got it. Three point basket by Kevin Nye. Kevin Nye is on the board, and it's an 18 15 Logan lead. Mountcrest jumped out to an 11 3 lead. Now Logan by three. Nethercott turns to his left, misses. Welch with the long carom up off the glass, and he'll go to the line. Alan Jaden Pinniger, his Pinniger. first personal, fourth team foul. Picks up the foul. Cornell Welch shooting for the Mustangs. Welch 0 for 1 from the free throw line. Now he's 0 for 2. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number 15. True Charlie, Jensen. Charlie Jensen into the ball game. Josh Jensen and Pinniger will sit down. So Logan just took 13 feet of Grizzly off the floor. <laughs> Replaced it with Truex and Jensen. That's still 12 and a half feet. Welch misses both free throws. McDade, the only starter that hasn't scored yet for the Grizzlies. He'll fire a long three, rims out of there. And the rebound ripped down. By Young, Austin Young's been quiet. He's a leading scorer for the Grizz, and he gets on the board That's as he goes coast to coast. One point Grizzly lead. McDade has it poked away from behind. Young with it again. Nice bounce pass, leaving a dime. Picked up and spent by Barber, and he spends it wisely. Barber with nine. Mountain Crest out front again, 19-18. McDade in the corner, deny one dribble, got it again. Kevin Nye, Kevin Nye with back-to-back -back triples. And Logan seesaws into the lead by two, 21-19. And a foul out front as Nethercott's bumped. Nye, Alan, Kevin Nye his second personal picks up number two. Foul. And that's the number, for five the number five for the Grizzlies. 4.39 to play in the half. Logan by two. Young in the backcourt, now brings it between the circles. Barber, Lishman turns, looks for Young. Charlie Jensen with a nice job to knock it away and the Grizzlies take it away. Turnover number five for Mountain Crest. Nye feeling it, but not that much. Larson steals the rebound and then Young steals it back from him.
Barber and Young play catch with it. Now Lishman looks low. Barber on the low left block. Double team, hit in the face. And the foul called. Looks like Facer, he just kind of swiped for the ball. And foul on Luke Facer. Got the side of foul. Barber's the head the instead of the ball. Facer picks up the sixth team foul for his Grizzlies. And that's his first. Next foul is free throws for the Mustangs. Welsh, corner three, short. Truex cleans up. Charlie Jensen, three on one, kicks it out to Pinnegar. Three on the way, too hard. Welch knocks the rebound away from Truex. Welch had position, and Truex just ran down there and pushed him off the block. Welch was still able to poke the ball away from Truex. Nethercott up and under, misses, rebound. Collected by Charlie Jensen. Two point Grizzly lead. Three and a half to play in the half. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Mustang, Mustang ball. ball. The for the Mustang. That's for turnover the number nine number one, for Logan. Parkinson. Parkinson back on the floor. The facer will sit. Parkinson, Pinniger, Charlie Jensen, Isaac Larson, Kyle Truex for the Grizzlies. Facing Nethercott, Lishman, Welch. Barber and Young with the ball. Young, pull up three. Trying to put that up there right in Charlie Jensen's eye, but he was off. Just a bit knocked out of bounds by Welch. And we're kind of stuck on 21-19, have been for a little bit. 3.07 to play in the half. Grizzlies with that two-point lead. Parkinson hands back into Larson. Mountaincrest has stayed in that zone. Nyes hit a couple of threes against it, and Pinnegar's hit one. Now Pinnegar has a three swatted out of bounds, and it goes off of Pinnegar. Out of bounds, Mustang basketball. Nethercott swatted away. Then he and Barber. Timeout, Mustang. Contested it with Pinnegar, and Pinnegar touched it last, students, but it went that out of bounds. That you've been given should be made into an airplane with your name on it. It so it's a timeout for Mountain Crest. They trail 21-19. We've been stuck on that 21-19 mark for almost two minutes now. And the Mustangs with the ball and a chance to tie it up or even take the lead. Cordell Welch has six points for the Mustangs, but Matt Barber's nine points leads all scores. Jaden Pinniger with six for Logan, and Kevin Nye also has six for the Grizzlies. Josh Jensen with five, he's on the bench taking a breather. The only foul trouble to speak of is Kevin Nye has two. So, Miles. Logan, I would like to thank the following sponsors. Hickman Land Title. The descriptor for the foul Logan situation for the Grizzlies. Chris Mill, Jensen, Mount Chris with only two team fouls. But they've been sitting in a zone, and a lot of times if you see a team play in a zone, unless, unless you're going down low block and attacking down low, there's not going to be a lot of fouls caught. And Logan's not really attacking it from the low block. Logan stays with the same lineup. And the Mustangs bring the same guys back. They were on the floor when they took the timeout, so no changes made during the timeout. Barber hands off to Nethercock. Uses the Lishman. Screen and then misses the three. Oh, Young takes it away from Truex and puts Austin it up and in. Austin Young. Austin Young, a scoreless first quarter. He's got four here in the second. And the Grizzlies have 10 turnovers. We're tied at 21. Charlie Jensen straight away. Three point basket by Charlie Jensen. Five for Jensen off the bench. Right on his season average. Two minutes to play here in the first half and it's a three point Logan lead. Mountain Crest led by eight in the first period. Logan's battled back. Lishman hesitates and lets it fly and it rims around and out. Parkinson with the board, gives it up to Charlie Jensen. Parkinson attacks to Truex. Blocked by out of bounds. Austin Young, out of bounds. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number 23, Josh Jensen. And Josh Jensen and will return along with McDade. Truex 
will take a and seat. The Mustangs, number zero, Ethan Wilson. And Logan has six players on the floor right now. There goes Isaac Larson. Wilson replaces Lishman. Three-point Logan lead. They've got the ball under their own basket. 149 to play in the half. McDade's got to look at a three. Misses, rebounded by Charlie Jensen. He looks underneath, he had a shot. It was two. contested, so he finds Parkinson for two. Johnny Parkinson for his first points of the game. And the Grizzlies now lead 26-21. Largest lead of the game for the Grizzlies. Bounce pass is taken away. Seventh turnover for Mountain Crest and McDade still can't find the range. Pinniger tracks down the rebound but then dribbles it off his knee. Young comes up with it. And then somehow Pinniger gets it back. Parkinson to the rim. He misses. Jensen fights for the board. And the Grizzlies calm things down as McDade dribbles it back. 50 seconds to play in the half. Grizzlies by five. Jensen, let's fly with a jump shot. On the right baseline, and it's rebounded by Mountain Crest off the miss. 26-21 Logan, 35 seconds to play in the half. Logan enjoying their largest lead of the game. They've outscored Mountain Crest 23 to 10 since about the midway point of the first quarter. Young has it swatted by Charlie Jensen. Pinniger to McDade. McDade pulls it back. 10 seconds. Jensen down low all alone is Josh Jensen and he scores. Clock runs, the Mustangs won't get another shot off. 28-21, Logan leads as we head to the half. You're watching the game of the week on the Valley Channel. We starting to lose our hearing? Is it genetic? Is it environmental? What what's happening to us? There's many things. Genetics can take a part of it. Uh, certain medications, ototoxic drugs, uh, but most of it's just life, living, living in general. We go to a concert here. We go to. A, a motorcycle rally. We ride a motorcycle. We're exposed to all these loud sounds, loud music, but it all takes a little bit of hearing. A little bit here, a little bit there. We don't notice it. It's so slowly happening and it's painless and over time just that little bit compounds and pretty soon we have a significant hearing loss that's affecting our ability to communicate with our loved ones. If you are experiencing any kind of problem, be you my age or be you younger, why don't you give Dr. Danes a call here at Cache Valley Hearing. Tell us where we are, Dr. Danes, and how they can get hold of you. We're at 485 North Main Street in Logan, uh, and you can just give us a call at 435-753-4327. We're at 753-H-E-A-R here. That's a good, <laughs> that's very apt. Yeah, I should say so. Uh, any kind of hearing loss, and literally, please don't let this um, feeling of embarrassment or it not being manly or cool, that's, you know, that's a bit dim. Y you shouldn't be embarrassed about something that is a natural aging process. It's right? actually more noticeable when you don't hear and have to that's have people to repeat themselves. That's true. And extremely irritating for those around you that are having to repeat it time and time again. Thanks so much, Dr. Danes. And seriously, guys, give Dr. Danes a call. Your hearing problems will be solved. Thanks, Dr. Danes.
sports and I've always participated in sports and I've always played and I think the best part about this job is being able to watch these athletes play and it's part of my job just to sit there and, and watch these athletes succeed and play these um, wonderful sports. I always knew I wanted to work in medicine and after playing many sports in high school and getting many injuries and having to come back from those injuries, I knew that I wanted to provide that same coverage and provide that same care to other student athletes because sports is a key part of growing up. So I teach one class and it's my exercise science sports medicine class and it also gives the students some college credit but mostly it gives me another setting to be with my athletes and I can really get to know them off the field and I can get to know their personalities that way when an injury does happen on the field that I can um, better, better take care of them because they know me and they recognize me. You keep people on the court and you keep them on the field and they're always playing and I always wanted to be a part of that. I always wanted to be part of the team and I always wanted to just participate and make sure that everybody who is um, healthy can stay out there playing a lot longer. So you never want to see anybody actually get hurt but when they when they it does happen it's always good to be there because then we can evaluate to see if it's actually going to be a game changer for them. And most of the time it's not, most of the time it's just an injury and then we can actually get them back into play a lot quicker had they just gotten hurt and sat out. And that's what's um, most important about having us athletic trainers there is that we can really work on these injuries and get them out a lot faster had they just sat out. Um, Cash Valley Hospital is a great company to work for. Um, they provide so much support for their athletic trainers that it just makes working with these athletes such a breeze. If we ever have any questions, concerns about a certain athlete, we can just call on our support and the hospital is very, very generous to us here at the school and it's just a great company and they help the community and they care about these athletes as much as we do and they don't see them every day but they still care about them and that makes it such a different dynamic to work with. My job is to prevent injuries from happening, but to also get the athletes back out on the field as quickly as possible after one happens, and that's what Cash Valley Hospital is all about. Hi Cash Valley, this is Fernando over the factory pizzeria. We're running a special right now. We're giving a free nachos when you buy a large pizza with three toppings. Just mention this up uh, and you're gonna get a free nachos every time you come. The factory pizzeria is located in 119 South Main, below the Gia's in the basement. Come see as soon as you can. Thank you. I want to succeed in athletics, but I also want to succeed in school, and I also want to help my family and my community, and so I think through being balanced and juggling all these things, it leads me to fulfill those wants and then be happier because of it. In order to have a, you know, a fulfilling and well-rounded life, you have to do a lot of different things. She goes to her classes, and she does her sports. I don't really know how she does it. <laughs> I mean, she goes to every day, which is like a smile on her face. I think everyone can have a drive, but it's the people that actually choose to feed this hunger are the people that stand out. Your hunger to win has to be bigger than anybody else's. If she sets her mind to it, she's going to accomplish it, and I have no doubt about that. Whether it's she needs to drop three seconds on her time, she needs to get a better grade on her math test. Bill is just one of those people who whenever like, I see you do anything, you always have this drive. There is a drive there that comes from wanting to be everything that her mom set in motion in the first 13 years of her life. My mom was one of my closest friends, so she had such an immense impact and influence on my life that when she died, my whole world was kind of turned around. She was 
heartbroken as you would imagine. She knew she had all these little ones looking to her. He was only 12 years old, but she became the person who was handling it. I'm trying my best, I guess. It's been hard. She was such a big part of my life, but I'm doing the best I can. She's a beautiful runner. I mean, just amazing to watch her run. She's a tremendous sister, tremendous daughter, caring soul, remarkably proud of Jillian. Like she has so much responsibility in her life. It's also amazing that she does it with such like humility and grace. When you lose your mom and your sister, you realize how precious every day is and you want to make the most of every day. Right? You sort of set high goals for yourself and you sort of work to achieve them. Sheer will and, I don't know, passion and, I don't know, but to get themselves there quicker than anybody else, to reach down deep, push through that pain, that both mental pain where you just want to stop, you want to give up, and that physical pain where your legs and your muscles are screaming and just get yourself there.
The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital. Together, we're greater. Cache Valley Electric, a tradition of excellence since 1915. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you have been missing. Lynn's Audio and Video, Cash Valley Specialists. Mountain Valley Heating and Air Conditioning, give us a call, you'll be glad you did. Herms Inn, last chance for great food. Discount Tire and Automotive, so much more than a tire store. Four Seasons Apartments and Townhomes is your home. Planet Fitness of Logan, no intimidation and only 10 bucks a month. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cat Valley's TV station for over 25 years. If you want the prize, come on down. Well, the Mountain Coast Mustangs table. jumped down to an 11 to 3 lead early in this ball game. And since then, they've been outscored 25 to 10. That was about midway through that first quarter. Welcome back to the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. Eric Olson along with you as Logan and Mountain Crest get ready for the third quarter. Logan leading 28-21. Logan outscores Mountain Crest. They doubled them up 16-8 in that second period to take a seven-point lead, only eight points for the Mustangs. In the second, Mountain Crest was paced by Matt Barber. He had nine points, six points for Cordell Welch, four for Austin Young, two for Trevin Lishman. Marshall Nethercott had a tough first half. He took three or four shots but did not score. Wilson Archibald and Archibald both played. They didn't score either one of them either. Josh Jensen leading the scoring for Logan with seven points, including a little putback or a right almost at the buzzer of the second period for the Grizzlies. So he's got seven points. Kevin Nye and Jaden Pinniger with six apiece. Two for Kyle Truex. McDade, the only starter that didn't score. Charlie Jensen comes off the bench to score five points. Larson played and didn't score. Parkinson with two points. And Luke Facer with some playing time in the second period. Attention Did fans, not score Jake Lucarini, either. please come to the scorer's table. Jake Lucarini. Green Canyon visits Bear River tonight in other Region 12 action, and Skyview is in Providence at Ridgeline. In this game, I don't think either team got to the bonus. Let's see. Now six fouls on Logan, only two on Mountain Crest in the whole first half. So eight fouls in the whole first half. Logan shot three free throws. They were two of three from the free throw line in the first half. Mountain Crest was 0 for three from the free throw line in the first half. So it was a fast moving first half. Mountain Crest gets the ball to start the second half, trailing by seven. They look low and they can't get it in. Lishman. Looking down to Barber and can't find him. McDade, the push shot won't go. He's having a tough night. Anthony McDade averaging four points per basketball. ball game. And he just can't find the bottom of the rim, bottom of the net tonight. Well, here's Lishman with another turnover. Dade, scoop it up under and in. Anthony McDade with the shake and bake. It was a nine point Logan lead at 30 to 21, 717 out of bounds, to play in the third. Basketball. All knocked out of bounds. The Mustangs get it back. Trailing now by nine. Austin Young, their high scorer, is another turnover for the Mustangs. Kevin Anderson probably get a timeout here pretty quick but not if they take it back like they just did as Welch comes up with it. The Mustangs come out of the locker room flat as a, well, flat as a pancake, really. Flat as a flat thing. Young scores from the angle. By Austin, Young. Austin Young now with six. He didn't score in the first period, four in that second. 
And then a bucket here. 30 to 23, Logan. Dade up top, Charlie Jensen fires away and hits three from three. By Charlie Jensen. He's got eight, and it's a 10 point Logan lead. Here's the lob to Nethercott. Nethercott tries to get on the board. He's pushed out of there by Parkinson and misses. Parkinson back to McDade. Nine, relocates. Fires up a three, no good, and Parkinson picks up the foul. For Johnny Parkinson, his first. Mustang basketball. Nope, they're gonna say it was just out of bounds. They're not gonna give a foul to Parkinson. Lishman looking for a cutter, looking for anybody. Now he finds Nethercock. Back out front to Barber. Now they're running some motion, running guys through. Barber looks underneath the Welch. Welch with a left hand. Wardell Welch with eight. Timeout, Mustang. Mountain Crest takes a timeout. Over and I would like to thank the following sponsors. Rebecca the Thompson bucket cuts it to an eight-point lead. 25-33, 5.28 to play in the third. Mountain Crest trails Logan. Eight points for Cordell Welch on the night. Matt Barber leads all scores with nine. He had seven in the first quarter. The Mustangs came out a little flat to start this third period. Down by seven at the half, they're now down by eight. Logan with four three-pointers in the first half, and they've already got one here in the third. The Mustangs have hit one three-pointer. That was Barber, first bucket of the game for the Mustangs. Nye tosses into McDade, and he brings it across the timeline. Hands off to Charlie Jensen. Dade waits for the play to set up. Off to Jensen. Now Parkinson. They can't get it in to Josh Jensen. Trevin Lishman's working hard to try to deny him the ball. Moving the ball against that zone. The Grizzlies just working it around the perimeter. Not in any hurry with an eight-point lead. Parkinson had a three if he wanted it. Didn't take it. Oh, nice. McDade gets inside and then hands it off to Josh Jensen. And Jensen's got nine. Back to a 10 point Grizzly lead. Welch hoists up a long three, won't go. Nethercott keeps the rebound alive and then Barber tries to save it in bounds. And it goes out of bounds. Wilson replaces Nethercott. Nethercott's having a tough night. He averages seven points a game. He hasn't scored yet tonight. Sometimes it's just not your night. Down low they go to Parkinson. He's fouled first by Ethan Wilson. Foul on Ethan Wilson, his first personal, first team foul, Grizzly basketball. So the Grizz, the trigger in underneath their own basket. Out front's nine. McDade. Mount Chris stays in the zone as they lob it into Parkinson. He's fouled. Foul on Austin, Austin Young, Young first picks up his first. Foul. Johnny Parkinson shooting Nobody in trouble foul-wise for either team. Kevin Nye has two fouls. There haven't been a lot of whistles in this game. There were eight total Entry whistles the in the first the half. There have been two here so far midway through this third period. As Pinnegar comes into the game. Nye sits down. Parkinson misses the first free throw. Misses them both, and Welch pulls down the miss. 
Runs it off to Young. Welch underneath. Barber was all alone. He didn't catch it clean and had to put it on the floor before he went up with it. But he still scored. And it's an eight point Logan lead at 35-27. Three and a half to play in the third. Charlie Jensen looks in the corner to Parkinson. McDade. Penninger. Thinks about a three, but not, not very seriously. Now he's gonna drive left baseline. Puts the fake on and then throws it away. For Logan, it's turnover number 12. And then Mountain Crest turns it right back over at the other end. That's their 11th giveaway. Both teams feeling very charitable here this evening. No, you have the ball. No, you have the ball. No, I insist it's yours. No, no, no. I couldn't possibly. But Logan with the eight-point lead with three minutes to play in the third. Pinniger came in off the bench, scored six points to really give the Grizzlies a spark. Hasn't scored since then as Larson with the rebound off the miss. And a foul called on the Mustangs. It's going to be their third team foul. And they're going to call it on Young. Now That's his second. Young, his second personal, third team foul. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number 50, Kyle Truex. Trying to think of an adjective to describe Mountain Crest's play thus far this evening. It's, they're not playing with a lot of urgency here to start this second half. Logan really kind of turned up the pressure. There's another turnover. Logan turned it up with Pinniger came into the ball game. He scored six, six quick points. And the Grizzlies all of a sudden it was like they had a, a shot of adrenaline and the Mustangs they haven't really matched that. They find themselves now down by eight. It's their 12th turnover. Facer into the ballgame along with Truex. Pinniger takes the bump, puts it up off the glass, misses. Truex walked. Turnover, Mustang basketball. Entering the game for the Mustangs, number 40, Marshall he shuffled Nilikoff. his feet. And number one, Caleb Archibald. And for the Grizzlies, number two, Kevin Nye. Lishman and Barber go to the bench. There's another caught, and Archibald take to the floor for the Mustangs. Here's Archibald, both knees wrapped up. Archibald leans in, foul, a charge. Nope, they're going to call. They're going to call the block. Foul on Isaac Larson, uh, Larson. His second personal, first team foul. That's his second. That's the first team foul on Logan with 2:06 to play in the third quarter, and Archibald makes the first free throw of the night for the Mustangs. It's the first made free throw. The Mustangs were 0 for 3 from the line, all by Cordell Welch in the first half. Archibald hits both. It's a six-point Grizzly lead with 2.05 to play in the third. And another foul. Foul on Cordell Welch, his second personal. Welch Fourth picks team team up foul. his second. That's Grizzly the fourth basketball. team foul on Mountain Crest. Pinninger and Larson playing catch with it out front. Facer steps inside the three point line and lets fly. Two point basket by Luke Facer. Luke Facer with his first bucket. Pushes the lead back out to eight. Larson with the near steal. Welch all the way to the rim. Basket by Cordell Welch. Welch with 10. 37-31, Logan. 120 to play in the third. Mountain Crest still in that 2-3 zone. Nye, he's got a couple of threes. He's got three of them. Three-point basket by Kevin Nye. 
Nye's got nine points. Averaging 10 a game. Under a minute to play in the third, a nine point lead for Logan. Another caught. Doesn't know what he's going to do with it. Finally gives it off to Archibald. Archibald to Young. It's off his foot. And it's over and back. Turnover, Grizzly basketball. 13th turnover for the Mustangs is McDade. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number we'll one, place Larson. Anthony McDade. And number 23, Josh Jensen. Josh Jensen will come back in as well, and Kyle Truex takes a seat. Nine-point Grizzly lead. They led by seven at the break. Now they've got a chance to take a double-digit lead into the half. Or, excuse me, into the fourth. 20 seconds left in the third. 40-31, Logan. McDade's going to hold. Facer. Vinegar. Nye's been hot. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for three. And Austin Young says no. And the official no, looks Austin at him and says, Young, yeah. They didn't get Kevin him on the Nye arm. For the but they got him down in the legs. And Nye will shoot three. That's the third on Young. And Nye's too close the basket, he misses. Three point one seconds on the clock. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number 21, Johnny Parkinson, and number five. Nye Jason makes Larson. it a 10 point lead for the Grizzlies at 41-31. Makes them both. He's got 11, and that's the lead as Young fires at the buzzer. At the end of the third quarter, the score is 42 31 after three. Logan leading the Mustangs of Mount Crescent. Please the game of the week. The Logan High Cheerleader. You're so adorable. I'm taking you home. The world judges, we don't. Planet Fitness, be free. So, you bought your computer from one of those big box stores, or online, and now it's really slow. Or just not working right. Targets acquired. PCs Unlimited can fix it. Fixing computers is what we do, and we've been doing it for over 20 years. Service, repair, diagnostics, networking, upgrades, system and data recovery, all your computer needs. Our prices are low and our customer service is the best. You won't get help from the big box or online. Come see the professionals at PCs Unlimited. Outscored 14 to 10 there in the third quarter. They already trailed by seven at the half. Now they trail by 11. 42-31. Logan, I would like to thank the following. Kevin Nye had five points in the quarter. He's got 11. Attorneys and rock slide engineering. He leads Thank all scores. Josh Jensen has nine. Cordell Welch leads Mountain Crest. 
Well, I take that back. Matt Barber's got 11 and Welch has 10. Austin Young in foul trouble, he's only got six. He's Mountain Crest leading scorer, averaging nearly 11 per game. Down low they go to Jensen, he's fouled. So eight total fouls in the first half. That's foul number seven. Foul on Ethan Wilson, his second person. Wilson picks up his second. And when I say number seven, that's between both teams. A few more whistles here in this second half. The whistles favored the Mustangs in the first half as McDade pulls up for three and misses. Rebounded by Parkinson. And so far in this second half, they're favoring the Grizzlies. Those whistles are. Jensen finds Larson, he's fouled. Free throws the rest of the game for the Grizzlies. Seventh team foul on Mountain Crest. Logan with one. Caleb Archibald Isaac Larson shooting for the picks up his first foul. Larson gets on the board. Entering the game for the Mustangs, number 24, Trevin Leishman, and number three, Matthew Barber. Talks about fouls favored of Mountain Crest in the first half and their favor on Logan here in the second half. Well. Mount Crest has nine total fouls for the game. Logan has eight. Pretty even. Larson makes them both. 44-31 Grizzlies. Mount Crest just those first couple of minutes of the second half. Just like that. They turn the ball over. That's their 14th. And instead of cutting into that Logan lead, is Nye is all alone underneath. Nine. Instead of cutting into the lead, they fell further behind with three straight turnovers. And here's a foul out front as Larson reaches in. Foul on Isaac Larson, his third personal, second team foul. Larson picks up his Mustang third. Basketball. 15 point Logan lead. Mountain Chris is going to need a big shovel if they're going to dig out of this hole. Lishman, still looking. Logan's been really overplaying in those passing lanes here in this second half. And it's paid off with some steals. 14 turnovers for Mountain Crest in the game. There's Larson coming up with some thievery. Loses it out of his oh, and Archibald touched it last. Out of bounds, Grizzly basketball. Larson slipped down. And Archibald went to go get it and then he fell and touched it before it went out of bounds. Jensen back into McDade. Here's the lob to Josh Jensen. Knocked away, and the Mustangs come up with it. Ahead to Welch. Welch has it swatted by McDade. Out of bounds after that swat from Anthony McDade. Mustang basketball. Not only did it get swatted, it went out of bounds off the head of Welch. So it's Logan basketball leading 46-31 with 6-10 to play in the ballgame. McDade wants it back. Fires up a three. Got it. Anthony McDade. Anthony McDade with five points. Archibald, Larson takes it away and he gets called for the foul. Foul on Isaac Larson, his fourth personal, third team foul. Entering the game for the Grizzlies, number 33, Jaden Pinnegar, and number 15, Charlie Jensen. 
Pinninger and Charlie Jensen come in for Logan. Mountain Chris been stuck on 31 for a long time. Young down to Barber. Barber got off the Schneid in a hurry. Basket by Matthew Barber. But then they haven't been running anything for him since he scored those seven points in the first. He's got 13. 49-33. Finally, Mountain Crest gets off of 31. Vinegar down to Jensen. Boy, they collapse on him. He leans in, high off the glass and scores. 11 for Jensen. Another Mountain Crest turnover. 16 turnovers by the Mustangs. Entry Who's the coming the into the ball game? Number 12, Mason Baldwin. Mason Baldwin's going to come into the ball game. And Austin Young's going to sit. Coach Anderson's seen enough. Fifty-one thirty-three. Logan. McDade hits another one. McDade was scoreless at the half. He's got eight points now. Back-to-back -back threes here in this fourth quarter. It's a 21-point Logan lead as McDade steals it, and he's off to the races. McDade high off the glass. Keep your hands on your wallets because Anthony McDade is picking by. Ten for McDade. McDade with cookies reaching in that cookie jar. Archibald gets free. As good by Caleb Archibald. Archibald with four. Nye, short, rebounded by Baldwin. Welch. to Barber. And it low to Welch. Logan takes it away. 17 turnovers now for Mountain Crest. And McDade's going to back it out. With 3.15 to play in the ball game. Logan in control. McDade has it blocked. Jensen gets it back and lays it in. Gus Jensen with 13. Logan High Basketball would like to and a Wish time you a happy out. fifth oh. anniversary to Travis and Annie Van Leeuwen. Right, Logan. Thank you for spending your fifth anniversary right here with Logan. 308 to play in the ball game, and the Grizzlies lead 58. Logan, I would like to thank the following sponsors. Cash Car Wash. Dr. Uh, Gregory Anderson. Scored 30 Anderson, points Trevor here Moon, in this second half. Sports Academy, Planet Fitness, Johnny O's. Well, up Utah next for these two teams. The Logo Shop. Mountain Crest on the road again next Wednesday at Richland, and then at home against Bear River. Bear River hosting Green Canyon tonight. Ranked number four and five in 4A, Bear River and Green Canyon. Logan will visit Green Canyon on Wednesday, and then back home next Friday to host Ridgeline. As far as the game of the week on the Valley Channel, we've got Green Canyon at Skyview next week. That ought to be a good one. Three minutes to play in the game. Logan in control by 23. Mountain Crest has only scored 14 points this half. They've been outscored 30 to 14 in the half. Lishman has nowhere to go with it, so he fires up a three. Rebounded by Logan and McDade with 10 points here in this second half, eight in the fourth. And two and a half to play in the game. Welch checks McDade. McDade in the corner to Pinniger. 
Logan just running some clock. We're down near two minutes. See if McDade takes it to the rim. He does. He gets caught too far underneath. Hoping for a foul, he doesn't get it. And Barber unleashes for three, misses. Baldwin tips the rebound out and it's finally picked up by Charlie Jensen. Parkinson to McDade under two minutes. McDade throws it away. 15th turnover for Logan. Bounce pass to Welch, gets past him. 18th turnover for Mountain Crest. Neither team has been particularly careful with the basketball tonight. Truex. Kyle Truex. Truex with four. Three pointer on the way, short by Welch. 120 on the clock. Logan by 25. Mountain Crest led by a point at the end of the first quarter. Trailed by seven at the half. Trailed by 11 to end the third. They only scored four points here in this fourth. Anthony, Anthony McDade, meanwhile, has 11 in the fourth and 13 for the game. All in the second half. Is the Mountain Crest Mustangs I'm taking it right in the face. That was a foul to get the subs in. Coach Anderson's just going to have his guys play out the string. 14 points in the second half. Number 22, Jalen Sargent. And number 20, Hayden Woolley. Mustang basketball. Lots of turnovers. Some shooting woes for the Mustangs in the second half. Twenty-one points here in the fourth quarter for Logan. Welch gets inside. Basket by Cordell Welch. Twelve for Welch. But it's still a big lead for Logan. Here's the turnover. Archibald fouled hard. Sixteenth turnover for Logan, so still plenty for Coach Logan Brown to talk about in in film and practice. Caleb Archibald shooting for the Mustangs. Archibald. Two Mustangs have shot free throws tonight. Welch and Archibald, and they're going to say that that's not the shooting foul. So never mind. Archibald for three, got it. Three point basket by Caleb Archibald. Caleb Archibald with seven off the bench. 63 to 40, and the Grizz will hold, and that's the ball game. Logan with a 23 point win over the Mountain Crest Mustangs. And that's the Blue game with the final Anthony score. McDade with the big second half. Josh Jensen and Kevin Nye doing damage as well as the Grizzlies get the win. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital. Together, we're greater. Cache Valley Electric, a tradition of excellence since 1915. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology. Bring back what you have been missing. Lynn's Audio and Video, Cash Valley Specialists. Mountain Valley Heating and Air Conditioning. Give us a call, you'll be glad you did. Herms Inn, last chance for great food. Discount Tire and Automotive, so much more than a tire store. Four Seasons Apartments and Townhomes is your home. Planet Fitness of Logan, no intimidation and only 10 bucks a month. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years.